Hey everybody, so if you missed the Vegas Golden Knights home opener last night, you really missed out on something special. Um, it was just an incredible event all the way around. Um, the crowd was amazing. It was sold out and just wild crowd, really excited for hockey. It was really awesome to see. The pregame ceremony was incredible and then obviously the game was incredible. Um, Vegas won 5-2. to two. They scored three quick goals in the first period. Chase Ante Ranta from the game, and the, the place went absolutely nuts. Um, they really played well overall. Um, it, they looked like a you know, really good NHL team. They, Arizona was not ready to play at all. The moment was way too big for them. Uh, they looked terrible. They turned, especially the first period. The turnovers were ridiculous. Um, yeah, but good for Vegas. It was just incredible to see. Um, but there's one thing that I really want to talk about with with regards to Vegas, and it's Derek Englund needs the C on his jersey. Um, there's no reason that, he's, that he shouldn't be the captain of this team. Uh, I know going into the year that they were all, you know, were not going to name a captain. They have a rotation of, I think, six players all, you know, rotating the A's. They weren't going to name a, and then they were going to wait to name a captain. Well, they don't need to wait anymore. Derek Englund deserves the C on his jersey. Um, he's lived in Vegas for like 15 years now. It's his hometown so there's no one better to be the ambassador from the team to the city um, he gave an incredible speech before the game last night which is something that you rarely see you don't normally see players address the crowd like that and he did a tremendous job and really showed the, his leadership capabilities and also, even without the whole Vegas thing, just from a, the team in general, he's the perfect guy to be the captain. He's one of the older guys on the team at 35. He's really taken the hard route to the NHL. I mean, he was drafted in 2000 and didn't play his first NHL game until 2009. You know, years in the ECHL, AHL, before finally making it to the big league, and then... Uh, he, the type of player he is, he's the perfect kind of player to be a captain. You know, he's a tough guy. He stands up for his teammates. Um, very solid defensive defenseman. Um, grizzled veteran. Just the perfect guy to be a captain. And the perfect guy to be a captain for a fairly young and inexperienced team like Vegas. And a brand new team. I mean, this is... This is, you know, the perfect guy. I, I mean, I look at that roster and it's fairly, you know, obvious to me who the captain should be. Now, I'm not in the locker room, so maybe I don't know. But maybe someone is really a leader in the locker room and I don't know about it. And we on the outside don't know about it. But looking at that roster, to me, it's pretty obvious that Englund deserves a C and James Neal and Jason Garrison should get the A's or if you want to rotate some other guys in maybe like a Riley Smith he may give him an A some nights too but when I look at that team the, there's really only two options for a C it's either James Neal or Derek Englund and my money's on England all the way. I absolutely think he deserves to be the captain. Um, just, you know, he's the perfect guy for a Vegas resident. Long, hard road to the NHL. Strong leader. Strong defensive player. Um, 35 years old. Just, he, sh there's no better candidate on that team. So, that's just what I think. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but I think England deserves to see, and I hope he gets it. So that's it for this. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. We want to grow the channel. So thank you very much for watching, and pass it on.